Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the big winner from the pre-order stage. Now pre-orders, I would say the large majority of cards will go down in price just because the pre-order is as hyped up as it possibly can be. But this card was the absolute winner. So it started at a $5, slightly under $5 Mythic, and now it is $13. So it did a doubling, which is not bad for a mythic. So it is called Herald of Anguish. Did any of you guys pre-order it? If you did, I would love to know why. So it is five in double black, but it does have improvise, so you can use your artifacts to play it. This is pretty good if you have a lot of useless artifacts, or in some cases, if you have some clues, this can come down much earlier than expected. So it is a 5-5 five five worth flying at the beginning of your end step. Uh, each opponent discards a card at the beginning yeah, of your end step. So when you play it, you get a 1 for 1 in terms of card advantage. And 1 in a black, sacrifice an artifact, target creature gets minus 2, minus 2 until end of turn. So as a control deck, this is very good. A lot of artifacts you might not need and you might actually want them in your graveyard definitely a card that makes sense we will see with the pro tour where the price ends up i think the card itself is quite strong and it's definitely not something that i personally would have speculated on it reminds me a lot of desecration demon in terms of it's a big body it comes down relatively cheap one of the things that i underestimated was improvise Improvise works extremely well with clue tokens and other artifacts that pretty much don't do anything. So Herald of Anguish, the biggest winner of the pre-order stage. And definitely something that uh, when you look at the card, it is extremely powerful. It is a big body. It has removal on the stick and it has card dis disruption. So it's everything that black really wants to do. The only thing I felt when I initially assessed this card, for speculation purposes, I felt it was too expensive, but the improvise is proving me wrong. If it hits on turn four or turn five, this is pretty much incredible. You do have a lot of colorless artifact tokens running around that can produce, that can put this out much faster. I, if it survives two turns, it gives you card advantage. If you have multiple artifacts that aren't really doing very much, you can go ahead and destroy creatures. Minus two, minus two in this current meta game is actually quite a bit. It does destroy a lot. Uh, overall, a very flexible card, a very strong finisher. I'm excited to see whether or not it will, price will hold uh, based solely on its what if it sees play in the Pro Tour. Now, $13 is quite expensive for a Mythic in the current Expedition Age that's not a Planeswalker. I don't know where its eventual price will settle, but it's not a $5 card. Worth keeping your eyes on, I do feel like it is an incredibly strong card, and if it does find a home, it might be even able to retain this price and go up to $15. So anyway, leave me a comment below of uh, did you pre-order this card? Did you not? Uh, why did you? Why didn't you? And overall, do you think this is a good card? Will it hold its price? If so, is it because of the Pro Tour? Will this card be the card to be reckoned with in the Pro Tour? My gut feeling tells me it is not going to be, but I've been wrong before. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.